Good morning, HackFest 2022. My name is Dave Slaughter, and I also go by the handle Code Masseur, or Lord Code Masseur, um, because I'm in the, the uh, Knox Archaist uh, Kickstarter. Anyway, um, I have an uncompleted HackFest entry to share with you. Uh, still a pretty cool idea, even though I didn't have enough time to finish it, and uh, that was also part and partly due to some technical issues I ran into. Uh, the idea of my hack was to extend the A2 stream uh, program by Oliver Schmidt and uh, give it the ability to not just play songs but to actually download a playlist online and then go through each of the individual songs so to actually turn it into a music player uh, with more features. So with this, uh, with all this in uh, mind, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the program uh, as it is and uh, show what I can show of it running. So on my right hand side of the screen here in the terminal window, uh, you see that I've got a git status uh, display up and it shows that my changes are to the make file, a2stream.c, and also a2stream.h. And so let's uh, go through this and uh, sh show what I have. So the very first file is the header file. Uh, all the addition is is that I added a read buffer size of 256 to be more than enough uh, for downloading content from the web uh, as far as the demo goes. And then a2stream.c has much more significant changes to it. In this, uh, just got a little bit of additions to a header file here, uh, erido.h. Um, then I have uh, some routines here, um, file error exit and exit on key that were added from the uh, a copy of the wget uh, program that comes with IP65. And you'll see I've got a static buffer here of uh, hex 0200 size and uh, a listing, uh, an array of songs that can be stored uh, just for the demo. And then I moved the offload DNS uh, to a uh, global variable. So continuing on, um, this is where I ran into one of the, one of the difficulties. Um, when I added my code, I had to bring in parts of the wget program to download the playlist from the internet and when I did that it expanded the size of the program so that I can no longer fit above the high-res graphics page one uh, set at 4000 hex and I had to go down to uh, 2b00 which I was uh, well into the uh, uh, high-res uh, graphics page so uh, this meant that I would e either have to get rid of the graphics in the application or deal with a crash. <laughs> so uh, that was one of the uh, problems I was not able to uh, uh, get around uh, in time for the entry. Um, an alternative, what I could have done, uh, is that A2 uh, Stream supports the ability to call it and pass along the name of a uh, song file from a third-party program. Uh, but I just didn't have enough time to switch the functionality out into a third-party program and uh, implement, it, implement the playlist that way. And uh, here is, uh, this is a copy of the write file routine uh, from wget. So not my code, but um, uh, it, was, it was easily borrowed uh, from the IP65 source code. Now this is the code that I have written, is the uh, get playlist. And um, uh, essentially, uh, uh, what we're doing here is we're we're downloading a copy of the uh, playlist uh, from the internet, and then we are um, uh, parsing through it to get to get the uh, the uh, the URLs for all the different tracks. So um, anyway, just going to just go through this quickly here so that you can see uh, what I've written here. Um, I store this to a file on the uh, disk drive called playlist.m3u and um, make sure we have uh, our error handling and whatnot. And there, here's the parser here. 
Uh, we skip over any of the lines that start with hash sign ext and uh, the, the playlist uh, format for M3U um, uh, has a bunch of these different things defined. Uh, I skip over blank lines and then I assume anything that's left is going to be a uh, music file. So, and, um, and then you see here at the very end uh, I make sure to uh, clear out and close out my resources that I've used so I don't leak memory. Okay, so in main I mentioned uh, I had to move offload DNS to a global uh, and then added some additional variables for, for, the, for the current track number and total number of tracks um, and uh, so forth. Uh, since total number of tracks is um, uh, used as a control variable for a loop, uh, it's set internally on the loop, but to make sure it runs the loop once, because I'm using a while install of an until, uh, I just set to uh, FF hex decibel to make sure it runs once. Um, so modifications to the about, and then I change again, like I said, I change it from the while true to the for loop, and I make sure that we have our total tracks is set up at a high enough value. <clears throat> so uh, I changed uh, um, I changed the uh, URL to playlist URL here, uh, and then I've got some uh, the I've got some uh, network configuration that has to occur before calling get playlist, and then afterwards I have this uh, occurring. Although uh, that comes to the second issue I was having in that. I'm able to download the playlist, but then when I'm trying to actually download the audio track into the player, uh, the uh, network connection would seem to get lost, and uh, I was trying to uh, debug that, but also ran out of time for that. So, and that's uh, the end of the changes to a2stream.c, and then if I go ahead and di uh, diff the make file, uh, you will see that um, I'm compiling uh, I'm compiling uh, a2stream.c pretty much the same way, except for uh, I had to start the start address of the program t uh, too low in memory, so I was actually conflicting with uh, the high-res graphics screen one, and then I also made some changes to uh, building the actual disk out, and. Um, uh, here, the make file was using copy, which is a, I'm assuming is a DOS command, and uh, and the in the concept of how this was being built, so I changed it to the Linux command CP. Um, and then uh, one other thing I did is to speed up my development, uh, I made a copy of the stream.urls cache file, which contains the URL that's being used. So all I had to do was hit up arrow uh, to select the uh, correct link rather than having to type it in every single time that I was running the application. Alright, so with all that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the program here and uh, see how this runs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, you see here I've got, I'm running a, di a different, I'm running a different disk right now. I'm going to go ahead and load in a2stream.dsk and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, reboot uh, the system here. Um, this is emulating Apple IIe Enhanced, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, alright, we have a file that's left over here. I want to go ahead and get rid of that first. So, let's see if we can delete this. Alright. Alright, good. So now we've deleted, we've deleted the cache file here. So I'm going to run A2 Stream. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit up, hit up arrow. Okay, apparently I have lost my cache. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this in manually. I, as you can see, I've probably typed this in many times. And uh, you could take a look at the playlist off of slaughter.net if you want as well. I'll leave it up there for the uh, duration of Kansas Fest, but it will eventually disappear. So uh, this goes ahead and uh, 
downloads a copy of the of the playlist, but then we are unable to continue actually running the application. So, or I thought we were downloading it. So, uh, of course, we have to have a little demo glitch. Oops. Let's go ahead and restart here and try this one more time. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we see that one of the first songs that's on the playlist is uh, the Philadelphia.a2 stream, and then we get an unknown error when we're actually trying to launch the player. So let's go ahead and uh, quit out here. And go to Cat Doctor, and we're going to print out a copy of what was downloaded from the web. And that was the playlist.m3u. And we're not going to send it to the printer. Um, these have end of line characters which are Unix and not, uh, and not um, uh, Apple II. Boy, uh, late night here. So we have ext.m3, which is the header. And then we have other information here about the uh, author and uh, name of the track. And then we have the URL to the first track. Uh, which is slaughter.net slash a2 streams slash philadelphia dot a2 stream and then the second one is uh, walking after midnight dot a2 stream uh, just to give you a demo of this anyway this has uh, been very helpful for me because I have not programmed the Apple II in many many years uh, I had to learn the CC65 compiler tool set uh, I had to learn Apple Commander and how that all those pieces fit together uh, and uh, also get familiar with the memory map and just various little things, uh, end of line characters being different between the Apple II and Linux. And uh, uh, this was a, a very good exercise for me. I enjoyed it. I'm, I wish I could have gotten it finished, but uh, here it is, my Hackfest entry for 2022. Thank you very much for watching.